Morning, it's Andy, the expedition hiker. And today, we're not in our usual area. We're actually in Settle in North Yorkshire. And I'm here for Christmas. Um, but you'll see this video probably after Christmas. We are starting in Settle and we're gonna do a, a 14, 15 mile route today. And we're gonna head up to uh, Malham Cove is our midpoint. And then we'll head back towards Settle. As I said, it's 15 miles. Now we're on staying over the next few days. There's a place called uh, Orca Beer Campsite. And I'm staying in a little pod, uh, which is about six miles away from here. So I caught the bus down to here. And then we've got 15 miles to walk in a circular route today. And then we'll head back up to uh, via the bus, hopefully, if we catch the bus at 5.30. If not, we've got an extra six miles to walk after this. So it's going to be a 22 miler. So, with that, we'll head off. So this is the market town of Settle in North Yorkshire. So about 20 miles away to my west, I've got Lancaster and the coast. About 30 miles to the northwest, we've got the start of the Lake District. We're on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales and the Forest of Bowlands. So right in the mixture of the national parks. And we're actually going to pick up onto the Pennine Way at certain parts of today. Along with also the Pennine Bridal Way. A great place to stay. Lots of national parks around me. I think it's a place I'm going to visit again in the summer. Because the only problem with walk now at Christmas is the daylight hours. As you see, it's dark now. Well, it's just becoming light. It's about 7.30. Well, it'll be dark by about 10 to 4. I don't expect to get back here to about 5-ish. So the last half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm going to be walking in the dark. That's my usual thing I do. Anyway, we best get going. 16.94. Let's head down to Settle. Couple of donkeys. Donkey. You said he or me go, no, I won't. I'll have to wait for it. Edit it in. <coughs> Nothing like starting with a hill. Straight out of settle. It is a bit of a hilly one today. Well, a mountain one. We've got one mountain to climb. So we're on the Pennine Bridal Way. So as we ever look, settle. As we can see, it's exactly the clearest of days. Hopefully when we get to Malin Cove, we'll get some sort of view. It is meant to be raining until about 11 o'clock. And then hopefully the sky might clear a little bit that we can actually see the gorge. Anyway, we've got a bit of walking to do before we get there. It just looks like Sycamore Gap on the Hadrian's Wall path. But missing one thing. Yes, you guessed it. The Sycamore. I'll put it in now. The Dales Highway. As we head down towards Morven Cove. Although it's not heading down, we've still got to walk up that, which I believe is 560. So just short of a mountain. Oh, the perfect spot. It's a bit of a, well, I call it a cave, a sort of a bit of a hole. Getting out of the rain for five minutes. Anyway, we continue on the path towards Mallon Cove. We have got still got about five, six miles to get there. And, uh, well, geez, I'm not the only person out. I've come across a few people so far. 
first bit of snow we've seen on the dales. Not much of it. It's a bit of a gully, so just a little bit that's left over from whenever it snowed last. It was looking quite miserable at the minute. We had this fine dew. I've fallen over twice. I've got more mud on me than out else. Well, we've reached the summit of today. Five, I think it's 563 meters. The view is from the summit. So visibility is about 150 meters. I'm hoping, I did say that the rain would stop by 11 a.m. Well, it's quarter past 11. So that didn't work very well. So we're now heading downhill, basically all the way to Malham Cove. So, we best keep going. But overall, we're still climbing along. As long as the night slip over again, we'll be alright. Usually you have a mirage when you're looking for water. I found this lake in the middle of nowhere, but I don't need water because it hasn't stopped raining since I started walking. It's finally stopped raining. It's a bit still here as well. So as you can see, National Trust, you more, and Malham Town Estate. That's where we've just come from. So I can see there's a few more people around here. Just beyond where those trees are is Malham Cove. So we're at this well about halfway point for the walk. It's the main feature of the walk. And also, I'm going to see if we can find a waterfall later on this afternoon. But anyway, let's get down to Malin Cove. So, this is the gorge from the upper side. Can't really see much from here. So, we're going to have to go down to see it from the upper end. We'll just about make out in the distance. Just beyond it is Malin itself. Anyway, we're going to head down there now. Get a good look at the gorge. So at Malin Cove in North Yorkshire, in the Yorkshire Dells, also on the Pennine Way. So in a minute, I'm going to see if I can do a Facebook Live. Because it seems I can't do YouTube Live, because I ain't got a thousand subscribers yet. I did intend to do it on, uh, on my walk tomorrow. But uh, I have to do it different ways now. So limestone cliffs, and then the water runs from underneath them. I don't know where it comes from actually. And heading down towards Mallet. And as you can see, quite a lot of people come here. But where's the water coming from? Nobody knows. Because it wasn't coming from the top. You see people do some climbing here. You can see some of the climbing apparatus. So here we are on Malin Cove. You can just see behind me the big limestone cliffs. All the way up to the top. Created by glaciers millions of years ago. So this is what we came for. 
Uh, so now we're going to head down towards Melvin, uh, sorry, Malham. We're going to walk down to Melvin, that's miles away, hundreds of miles away. So at Malham Cove, and we're going to head down to Malham, and we're aiming towards a waterfall. At least the uh, walkway is slightly better now than those treacherous rocks at the top. I did think at one point this could be my uh, last time walking down uh, some treacherous rocks because it was slippy as hell and even I had my trekking poles with me. Very wet. But we made it and uh, I'll show you behind what we have so that's Malham Cove and that's your sign here to say Malham Cove so we'll have a quick butchers at that so Malham Cove has been a wonder of the Yorkshire Dale since people first started visiting once upon a time a huge waterfall poured over the top as a massive glacier melted on the high land above it since then freezing water and rain has continued to process of creating the sheer limestone cliff face we see today. Recent investigations in the caves behind the cliff have shown that the, the cove may have been formed 50,000 years ago, much earlier than the previously thought. Sometimes you just can't have enough nesting boxes. It's funny how one place connects you to another. It mentions here about the chimney sweep hero, Charles Kingsley's The Water Babies. Now, when we did the Pilgrim's Way a few uh, weeks ago, we came across about the Water Babies have inspired him to write it. So, one place connects to another. And we're heading back towards Settle. By the road, it's six and a half miles, while the footpath, I think, is about the same. This is the church of Kirby Mallam. Kirby Mallam is a hamlet, there's only a few houses. Yeah, the church is a considerable size for such a small place. Well, we can see Malham Cove in the distance, although it doesn't look so big from here. It did look from over there. Anyway, we're keeping on. We're aiming for, I think it's called Skaber Falls Waterfall. The only problem is, I don't think we're going to get there before dark sets in. We've got about an hour. And around these bots, it goes dark very fast. Anyway, best keep going. I might just be this whisperer. Because all moo uh, mooing. We're all barring at me. See, they're responding. A lot of them coming in this direction. Surely they can't be coming to say hello. There's a lot of them over there as well. Anyway, we might have a dilemma here. There are two large Angus cows in the middle of the road, and I'm wearing red. We've got very big horns. Well, hopefully, he's just sniffing around and not scratching his feet, ready to charge me. What could possibly go wrong? I'll tell you in five minutes if I survive it. Got the size of his horns. It's in him, mate. Fortunately, we got past them. He got rather close, but fortunately, it scared them off the uh, roadside. Although he's walked back on it now. Got past them. We're on, keep going. Hopefully, we'll get back on the path in a bit. Horse drawn vehicles and animals that way. So, does that mean the horse drawn animals? as well as horse-drawn vehicles, I wonder. Now we might have just about pulled this off and got to the, uh, well, waterfalls or falls or whatever they're called, for dark. We are about 10, 15 minutes before it's dark, I think. And also looking at that nice ridge line there. Now let's see if we can get to these 
pause before it's dark and we can't see anything. Well, we've reached what I think is the waterfalls, although that's a stream that's babbling down. And then the other side is doing the similar sort of thing. But it seems to go round a corner there, and then I think it's the other side of that mound. It's probably the waterfall. But the problem being is there's no footpath to get to it. So, although I've rushed all the way down to get here before dock, you can't actually go down to see the waterfalls. That was a bit of a crap one. Anyway, we've got about three kilometres to go, uh, and it's going to be dark in whew, any moment now, really. The sunset has gone, so I'm sure it'll be pitch black within moments. So, best get cracking. Well, we managed to get a look at the uh, waterfall. As you can see, it's getting quite dark now, so we're not getting much of a look. It does go down quite deep from there, so there must be another section it drops down. But at least we got to see this bit. So this is Scalber Falls. Right guys, we are back where we started in Settle. The only difference is, well, apart from we went to Malin Cove and did a 15 mile hike, it's darker now than when we started. But other than that, it's been a nice walk and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it as well so if you have you know what to do click like comment and share it as well so until next time see you soon have a good one and bye bye hikers <laughs>